Hello Curly Crew, it's Mary and welcome back to The Curly Closet where I cover all things natural hair, lifestyle and beauty. If this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. So, happy 2021 guys. <laughs> nice to see you again. I know I've been a bit MIA but uh, yeah. 2020 okay, that's what I have to say. 2020 it was a lot. I had to take a, a bit of time out from time to time. But here I am. I'm still making videos. I haven't left you guys. I still love you guys. And I appreciate all of the love and support you guys have given me. And now we're in a new year. So today's video, as you can see, my hair is blow dried, which I don't do very often. The reason why is because I've decided that I want to do some braids, specifically some Senegalese twists. For this video, this is not going to be a tutorial. I can't give a tutorial, this is my first time trying it on myself. This is my first time trying it on anybody to be honest, actually like, did I try it on my sister? I think I did braids on my sister a long time ago. I'm still trying to debate with myself like, am I going to try to do the rubber band method or not? Nah? I don't know, but anyway, this is what today's video is going to be about. I'm just going to show you the braid in hair, everything that I got going on. So this is the braid in hair, it's called Smart Braid. And it's a value pack. It's got three bundles inside a pack. You can see it looks like reddish here and then the further down you go, of course, the more red it becomes. Now, it says 56 inches. I mean, I think it's 56 inches all the way across. Um, if I show you this way, you get an idea of how long it is. I think if we count it all as one it's 56 inches but when it's obviously doubled like this I think that comes to what 28 inches either way on me I feel like it's gonna probably go past my waist because I'm sure I'm five foot two so yeah um I washed the hair in some of the cream of nature apple cider vinegar where is it do I have it here you know the cream of nature apple cider vinegar rinse? I rinsed it in some of that and I also rinsed it in, what did I do? Oh, I washed it with a, um, Art Jackie's shampoo, just one I had lying around the house. I just don't need any allergic reactions, okay? So I bought pa five packs in total. I have no idea how much I'm really gonna need, but we're just gonna run with it. Also, just in case I do decide to go with the rubber band method, I have rubber bands. I also got some shine and jam because, you know, who doesn't, like, most people braid their hair with some kind of, like, edge control and I've heard that shine and jam is meant to be good, so we're gonna find out. If you want to know how I blow dried my hair, it's very simple. Um, I washed it, I conditioned it, and then I blow dried it. I used some of the Pantene Gold Series products. The leave-on leave detangling milk and the heat protectant, and then I blow dried it with my Dyson blow dryer. I've got a review on it, you can check it out up here after you watch this video, of course. If you have any suggestions for improving my technique then you can leave them in the comment section below i'm not going to talk all through this video because it's something i've never done before so i can't really talk and braid but the best i can say is i'm gonna give it my best shot around autumn and winter i always want to go red with my hair as you know i've dyed my hair red so many times um but i've decided to take a break from dyeing my hair so you can see my hair is pretty much my natural colour all the way through, which is a like a 1B colour. My hair is not jet black, it's actually dark brown. I've used colour in my hair multiple times, but I, I'm actually liking the health of my hair that I'm seeing without adding colour to my hair, so I don't want to interfere with that, you know? So I would rather just put some braid in hair, some red braid in hair in, and get the colour, get my colour fix that way. Yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, and you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up I might just do some more braiding videos just so you see what I do with my hair because yeah I can't see this being the last time I do this let's just let's just roll with it and see what happens okay I'll be watching tutorials like crazy I'm gonna leave some tutorials below that I've watched in the description box below for you to check out if you want to try it on yourself so oh and of course subscribe you know we're 70k strong more than 70k strong um I would like 2021 to be the year that I actually hit 100k. I appreciate you guys. I love you. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for all of the support. Let's get on. This. 
Hey guys, it's Voiceover Mary here. <laughs> so, um, this is where I began my process for braiding my hair. As you know, I usually start from the back and work my way forward. So I started by putting some shine and jam on the back of my hair, just to slick my hair down and to help me to get my parting together. Now, this parting doesn't look too bad on camera, but I had to do it quite a few times in order to try and get it straight. Um, you're gonna see in a bit I had to kind of use my mirror a large mirror behind me and then a small mirror in front of me to kind of see how the back looked I wasn't that fussed about the back I knew it wasn't going to be perfect but I needed it to look at least decent for the best part of like an hour and 20 minutes I've literally been fiddling <laughs> with my hair I'm gonna show you what I have so far so there's been a change of plan for one I don't like the rubber bands because I'm trying to like braid it in and it's not braiding in in a way that I like and it's starting to look like I can actually see the rubber bands and that's bugging me and no matter how much I try to conceal it, it's still not working then like I tried the the twist I think the twist looks okay but it doesn't look as tight as I want it to look but somehow I've managed to get this in here quite securely and I've got a braid that I'm actually very happy with. So scrap the whole Senegalese twist thing. This is now gonna just be box braids because hey, I'm a beginner, okay? One thing I can say I'm happy about I'm getting faster okay <laughs> so I feel like I've done just under half of my head I don't even know how good or how not good this looks but one thing I'm happy about these are long and I'm loving the length okay so these are my braids so far they're not completely uniform some bits I'm having a bit of trouble <laughs> with uneven pieces but um, you can see I've braided down to about here mostly and then just for speed sake I've left the ends where I've kind of twisted them up I'm thinking I should either twist the ends or I should actually just braid them all the way down I don't know I get to the bit where my hair ends and then it starts to get very uneven and then whenever I try to like split them evenly into three the place where I split it ends up with a weird bump and it looks really uneven I started after 1am um, I spent until about half past two doing the first row um, it's now after five so I spent another three hours doing what you've seen so far and um, I did plan to do this over two days so it's time for me to get some rest and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and see if I can actually do what's remaining of the front and pull it all together, I hope. This is how I divided up my braiding hair. So I take one bundle, split it into two, take each of those halves and split them into two again, take each of those and then split them into two again. And then one final time take that piece and split into two so it ended up that one whole bundle will end up divided into 16 even pieces i hope that makes sense so now this is how i divided my hair at the front so you can see of course i have my undercut so where my parting is on the right hand side of the screen i essentially parted my hair in a similar way on the left hand side just so that it would kind of sort of look even so for each individual braid i added shine and jam to each section after parting it off you can see here i put some in my hair but then i added some more because it just wasn't enough okay <laughs> and then i would take a piece of braiding hair i would twist it slightly in the middle and then i didn't i can't really describe the technique clearly to you as i said this is not a tutorial but essentially i just started just as if i was beginning a cane row or cornrow in my hair and yeah I can't do this in a way that looks pretty on camera <laughs> because 
I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm still learning the process, guys. But this is essentially what worked for me. Just cornrow or cane row it into my hair until um, it becomes loose and um, away from my scalp and then carry on from there. Now, for this section, I'm showing you that one of my pieces, one of my three pieces had mostly my own hair and then the other two pieces had most of the braiding hair. So I'm just showing you what I did to even them out. So I would get to the point where my hair was in the middle and then the braiding hair was on one side. I would split a small piece off and make it join the middle and then keep on braiding. Now for me, the best thing to do was to actually smooth the braid down with my fingers. You can see I'm actually smoothing the braid down and flattening, flattening it because if I didn't do that, it would end up with a really weird bump where I divided the hair off weirdly. That's the best description I can give so far. <laughs> you you're gonna see that I'm gonna do it again a little bit later, um, actually just here. So again, I split off a small piece and I make it join the middle section of hair. And then I continue to braid as normal and then I take my finger and smooth it down my braid just to make sure to flatten everything out. And it ended up essentially with a pretty seamless, I wouldn't say perfect, but a pretty seamless braid. You can see here, I was not doing the ends. I was just literally focusing on the scalp. I can braid the ends later, that's fine. So I'm just showing you here what I did to finish up my hair, essentially. This was my process. I'm so glad that I split the work into two days worth of work instead of one, cause it can be quite a lot. I enjoyed the process because I split it into two, but I can see how you can get really, really tired after a few hours of doing this, especially if you're not used to the process of braiding. I purposely braided my hair with a center parting going down to the sides. Just because I like how center parting looks with long braids, but also because I wanted to cover up my undercut. You can see here that I was just kind of placing my braids in a particular way, just so that they would cover it properly. Um, and just to see if it works decently. And here again, I was just kind of playing with it to see like, okay, if I kind of pull it over to the side and make a side parting, does it look decent? Um, I was really happy at this point, very happy indeed. Right, okay, so um, I am pretty much done, um, at least with the roots. The ends are still not plaited, um, but I am going to braid them when I have a bit more time. My intention today was to get all of this done because I'm going to work tomorrow and I don't want to go out of my house with half braided hair. I really, really love it. Um, it turned out, especially like up here, it turned out better than I expected. Um, of course, as you know, I have an undercut in London currently in tier four, so that means barbers and London places are closed. So, short of maybe ordering like my own clippers and shaving my hair down myself, um, the best I could do was try to put my braids in a way that they could kind of lay down and you couldn't really easily see which if I do that you can see like it does cover it over I can just put some edge control up here and keep it moving I have not done any edge control and stuff because I just feel like um I want to do the ends first and then when it's all done then I'm gonna properly like say it with the mousse and everything I want to show you me doing that this was actually fun um oh today's session I started at about 7 p.m and it's now about 10 to midnight so almost five hours to do all of the front kind of what took me ages is there were three these three here just gave me problems like i was plaiting it they looked really uneven i had to take it out then redo it still looks wonky take it out redo it, it i don't know why just that section but we got past it oh and also like just making sure that my parting was nice because the back i'm not so fussed about but the front, because I can see it, I want to make sure that my parting is more like where I want it to be. Speaking of the back, so you can see what's going on. If I put this here, 
Um, I have no idea what my braid pattern is looking like at the rack, but I'm hoping it's decent. When I started the Shine and Jam was full, it was a brand new uh, container. This is how much we got left. I used two thirds of it. But. Okay guys, so here we are, um, we're finally done now. <laughs> it's actually more than a week since I did these braids. But as you can see, they are pretty much holding up beautifully. Um, I am loving it. I'm still in shock, like did I really do these braids myself, like 100% myself? This is my first time ever doing braids on myself. It's um, like a 1B but with hints of red to the roots and then you get to the ends and it's a lovely burgundy colour. I have loved having this red burgundy colour in my hair during the winter season. It's just what I gravitate towards. So. Yeah, that's that. Um, so just to let you know what I did to kind of finish off the style. As you can see from the video, I did from here coming down to about uh, here-ish. Um, and the way that the braiding hair is, even if you don't fully plait to the ends, it doesn't unravel easily. So I did that on purpose because I wanted to kind of give it a couple of days. Like I got to go to work, guys. So <laughs> and I didn't want to spend my whole entire weekend braiding. So I did the back one day the front one day and then took a day like a couple of hours one day to do the ends I can't tell you how long it took to do the ends because I have an online class that I'm doing and I was like attending the online class and braiding the ends of my hair <laughs> off camera <laughs> on zoom okay I can't really tell you how long it took it took a, it took a little bit of time but it wasn't too bad I applied down to the ends I'll be honest with this hair you don't really need to dip the ends in hot water if you plait it all the way down because once I plaited all the way to the ends they stayed but um, if you want to you can still dip the ends I did it turned out just fine I'll show you what mousse I used 
excuse the sticky appearance but I have been using it um, this is the main choice pink lemonade and coconut super antioxidant and texture beautifier mousse I admit though I didn't use this pure um, I had a little bit left of some I think sunny isle but I'm not sure Jamaican black castor oil mousse literally a little bit and I, I'm trying to use up my products guys so I put some <laughs> in this bottle um, but yeah I pretty much moosed my hair all the way down um, I used a little bit of edge control <sighs> is it worth it showing you the edge control I use does it matter I actually used this lot of body control me edge gel and just tied it down with the scarf as always you know me I'm not really too over the top on the whole edges and edge control but I'm not gonna lie it does finish the style nicely so um, oh, I use the mousse by the way to like slick down my undercut because yeah <laughs> and then of course I've used edge control here and here to just finish things off I also am and just added some dry oil just to add a little bit of sheen you know on there that's it so I have can't even get it all on camera but I've got like waist length <laughs> braids my first time ever doing braids and um, yeah I'm just I literally I'm enjoying them so much this will be happening again <laughs> I don't know when but I will be doing this again soon actually guys do you have any suggestions about what I should try next like what color I should try next what kind of braids I should try next I like I'm just getting into it now <laughs> I know I'm late but hey I've arrived I'm late to the party but I'm here <laughs> anyway guys that's it um I hope you enjoyed this video like I said not a tutorial just showing you what I did I had a really great time putting these in and it's been a great learning process and yes I just can't like stop <laughs> doing this I have been having a little bit of itchy scalp from time to time so I've been using this this product which I got in a treasure chest box it is the Shea Moisture Jojoba Oil and Ukuba Butter Track Tension Relief Serum with Carrot Seed Oil and it has a really handy dropper um, which you know you can just literally put into your roots and it does the business anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed this video if there are any other videos you want to see about my braids any other questions then let me know in the comment section below as always if you enjoy this video share it with a friend be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and of course hit the bell for notifications and that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video Wishing you health, happiness and beautiful hair. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.